Ugh, this is starting to drive me crazy. Hmm? Where are we? Ah, we're back. I was worried for a moment there. Wow! So this is where you live, Hunkin? Really? That's right, little kitty. Welcome to the Endless Frontier. What a pretty cherry blossom tree there. I'll bet you could see that thing for miles around. Maybe, but I think we've got better things to worry about. Well, anyway, let's go down to the castle town. You should say hello to our boss. He's from another world, too. We had him guarding this tree, the Fuji Sakura, while we were gone. That's its name? What's wrong with it? It looks safe to me. Monsters have been targeting it, and we have no idea where they come from. Monsters? Guess they're just as lost as we are. Well, there's a way to here. There's gotta be a way back, too. That's gotta be it, up there. Hey, Stell. What's up? Oh, Yuri. I... I feel the hell your tree is stirring. It's not the blast here or the spirits bothering it. It's some other power. Yeah. Flynn mentioned that the monsters have been pretty agitated lately, too. True. He told me he would investigate with the Imperial Knights and let us know. And you haven't heard from him since? No. That's why I've taken action. It's an honor to have you call upon the help of my guild. Princess, on behalf of everyone in Brave Vesperia, I promise you, we will do our best to fulfill our duty to you. Oh, Yuri, don't be so stodgy like that. Not at all. I'm curious about what's going on here, too. Let's go have a look around the tree first. How do things look, Estelle? I feel as if this power is being sucked away to some other place. Ah! Estelle? Hey, Estelle! Speak to me! Uh, uh, Yuri? It's about time you woke up, Princess Sleepyhead. Yuri, what happened? Everything just went white. I don't know, but something happened to us by the Hallow Tree. Whatever that thing was, it plunked us right in this place. And judging by these falling petals, I have a guess as to where we are. Yuri, I think you may be wrong. You think we're inside the Halyard Tree now, don't you, Yuri? Yes, inside the Great Tree, with petals coming down from the outside. You don't think that's the case, Estelle? I can feel a great power, one similar to the trees. But this one is different, calmer, more tranquil. Okay, so where are we? Not that you'd know, I guess. Let's take a look around. If we can find someone, maybe they'll tell us. Sounds good! <laughs> What's that for? It feels like I'm on another journey with you now, Yuri. It's kind of fun! Not a care in the world, huh, Estelle? I envy you sometimes. Wow, this is something. But what's it doing here? We can't just take it, can we? We should ask for permission first. Yeah, assuming someone's nearby. Aha! Uh -huh. Do I hear you calling for me? Ah! Who's that? That voice. It's coming from above. Y you scared me! Bandits, eh? Great. Of all the people, we just had to run into a guard. This tree is infested top to bottom with the likes of you. No! We're not doing anything wrong, sir! My name is Esselise Sidos Karasian. I... Uh, I'm the princess over in the capital. Can I ask who you are, then? Zangir. Zangir's hunt. Zandra, huh? I'm Yuri Lowell. I work for one of the guilds. I'm not sure what you mean by the guilds of your capital. <laughs> not that I'm from this world, either. What? 
Terka Lumiere. That's the name of your world? Not just part of it? Yeah. And I don't know what the new AD stuff is either. So we're on another world now? The Endless Frontier? That would explain this tree and the intense power I feel from it. Well, I guess we'll be guests here for a little while, huh? Perhaps, whether your friend or foe has yet to be determined. Oh, don't be like that. We already told you everything we know. I owe a great debt to this land. My princess has left me to guard it in her stead. Well, I am a princess too, and I swear we won't do anything bad here. Then show me a symbol of your sincerity. A symbol? Like that? I should have guessed it would have come to this. You want to challenge me, don't you? A man's sword tells no lies. Night and darkness shine equally well on it. Is it a rule that everyone with a big sword has to be like this? Hmm? Never mind. You wouldn't know. Shall we get started? Yuri! Can't we just talk this over? We are. And this is how we'll do it. Am I right, Xander? You guessed it, Yuri Lowell. My sword is made to smite evil, and I will not offer you mercy. Evil, huh? So, you think if I lose, I'm inherently evil? We'll see about that, Xander Zonvolt. Impressive. You too. How's my sword grab you? You fight with poise and experience. Plainly, you have been well trained. I feel you may have strayed a tad from your original instruction, though. Yeah, yeah. Estelle, you did pretty good, I'd say. I was a little nervous at first, but it wasn't so bad. Very well. I'm glad I decided not to knock you out when I had the chance. See, Yuri? Xander's been looking out for us after all. How were you gonna just knock me out with that monster blade? Anyway, let's get out of this tree. I need to tell my princess about you. Sure thing. We need to think about what we're doing here anyway. A real princess from another realm. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, monsters! Ah, uh, and now I see our real foes here. Oh, well. Want to talk this over with them, Xander? <laughs> Certainly. Oh? Oh, right! I think I get it now! Not more of them! Yuri, I remember these monsters! What? Yeah, got a zoo and some, what's it called, purples? Guess we're not the only visitors from Terka Lemary's. That's not all of them. Look at that. Bingo! This must be where all the ruckus was coming from. Ugh! I'm in such a beautiful picnic spot, too! That's all you're angry about, Ikido? Looks like we got a lot of monsters here. And some people? Mom! You okay? Kaguya Nanbu. No problems here. Good timing, though. I'm glad to say we're in time! Who's that lady? She's pretty. Uh, impressive. That's Kaguya Nanbu. She's the princess of this land. Oh, the princess? Whoa! These your friends, boss? My name is Kaguya Nanbu. I I is something wrong? Yuri, that... that's a princess? Calm down, Estelle. She's just a different species from you, okay? Uh, um, I'm human. Last time I checked. Check all you like, princess. Boss, who are these folks? People from another world, like me. They come from a planet called Terka Lumiere. He's right. My name is Estelle. And I'm Yuri. Uh, sorry to drop in uninvited. Oh, you're more than welcome here. I love entertaining guests. I wouldn't mind seeing what kind of entertainment our princess provides. Quiet, Bashram. It's funny though, all of us, from so many different planets, all in the same spot. So many tough mysteries to get to the bottom of. Really, you know? 
Well, the Endless Frontier is a giant mishmash of all kinds of worlds. We receive guests all the time, though not usually so many at once. I don't think we have time to chit-chat, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Me and these monsters go way back. Avaja? What are Aragami doing in this world? Wait, maybe this means we can get back home via this world. Somehow. It makes sense. I think we ought to investigate. Well, in that case, there's just one thing we have to do. Let's go, get out! Haken, are all these people trying to get back home too? Mm-hmm. Just a merry pack of travelers. <sighs> Some tour this is. The moment we arrive, we get in a fight. Hey, gotta have fun while we're here. You guys ready to rock over there? No problems here. We've been taking in the tour long before you showed up, guys. Let's do our best, everyone! I won't lose out to you, Kaguya! Huh? Oh, yeah! Let's have some fun with this, Estelle! Oh, well, this is getting interesting, isn't it, Omicron? It sure is. I'm glad we decided to come out for it, Necron. We'd best treat our guests so well, Omicron. And if we have fun along the way, then everything will be perfect, Necron. Oh no! Most scary looking people! Those are people, right? Wanted bounties, I think. Definitely not human, anyway. Bounties? Do we live here in the Endless Frontier? Yeah. We got a lot of villains in this land. Well, let's catch him, Hawken. Bounties? Now there's a word that gets me excited. Yeah, I was hoping for a good hunting mission for a change. Yeah, in that case, you better hunt us down too. I better have a bigger bounty on my head than Doku Gozu. Devils? No, who are they? It's one of the Bellinos brothers. He works for Oris Falks. And that horse for his mama is there too. Makes sense. There was someone from Oma over in Akahabara too. Did they come through that gate like we did? Why are you here? You have to have a reason. We do, but we're not about to tell you what. Sorry guys, we're not in a light conversation. <laughs> they have to be here for something. They wanted to kidnap me earlier, but not this time I don't think. Maybe they got bored of you. The one strap dress will only get you so far. I'm not looking to get anywhere, thanks. Yeah, sure, cheerleader. My question, why are they with the Necron and the Omicon? Those two live off magical power. What do they want here? You ready? Go find someone to fight, okay? Don't have to tell me twice. What is going on here? They just keep on coming for us. No need to worry about it. Just smash them all up one after another. Heh, <laughs> easy. I'm not sure it's quite that simple. Things seem to go this way a lot in the Endless Frontier, sadly. Denizens of other worlds? Interesting. Isn't it, Necron? Denizens of other worlds. It's interesting, isn't it, Omicron? Dokumesu! I think it's about time we stop playing around for now. Right. The Hall of Messengers is above here. Yep, I know. You ready to go? Wait! I still need to interrogate you! Let's chase after them! What was that Hall of Messengers they mentioned? If this was a video game, it'd probably be a majorly important location. It's super important! It's at the core of the tree and connects to other worlds! Other worlds? This tree? Oh, now I know why we all wound up here. Makes sense. We traveled here via a tree in our own world after all. So, were those guys trying to travel to some kind of... Other planet. Whether they were or not, I guess we can't let them occupy that chamber. 
You got it. Let's go. Here we are. The Hall of Messengers. Oh my! All this spiritual force! This is quite a surprise! Such power! In a world I never even knew about! I don't know about this fear of Mumbo Jumbo. Is there really anything to it? Yes, this tree teems with spiritual power. The force of life itself. So is this place alright, or what? Everything seems fine to me, at least. So, we made it in here before them. I don't know. We didn't run into them at all on the way here. I fear they may already be gone. Fuji Sakura, in the name of the Nanbu clan, I order you! Show your powers to me and open your gate to another realm! A rainbow? Or is this the tree's spirit itself? What's that? I can feel the power coursing into this room. Wait. Why do I even know that? It's coming into this room! So is this thing connected to somewhere else? Yep, no doubt about it. Feel a seam opening in time and space here. He's right! We stand before another world! Do we know where, though? This power... I think I remember this. Look, everyone! It's a rainbow! It goes to the sky! It is really... Wow, it's coming up right from the Hall of Messengers. It's... It's so beautiful. Makes you wonder what's on the other side, huh? If I had to guess, I'd say it's Marvel Land. Marvel Land? Is that the name of a country? Well, sort of. It's a world located in between the human and the demon world. Do you think that's where Aurora's fault is headed? I don't know, but we'll have to go and find out. We have to go! What, are we gonna climb up this rainbow? Ah! Oh, I've always wanted to try this! Doesn't that only work in, you know, fairy tales and so on? Yeah, like my old ma read to me. Don't get too excited. Beyond this rainbow may lie a realm of horrors. I'd love to get my hands on whatever's driving this thing! We've wasted enough time. Let's go! Way to keep up the fairy tale mood, guys. Can we really just walk on this rainbow? Trust me, some of us are familiar with this sort of thing. <laughs>